Hello everyone, welcome back. I thought today that we'd do an in-depth video about lunging. That's, you can hear Billy licking his salt lick. Um, that's what that noise is. Billy, silence on set please. Okay, we're gonna roll. So I thought we'd do like an in-depth video on how to lunge, what you need to lunge, my lunging routine. As you all know, I don't have a menage, so this is not gonna be fancy. We're gonna just do it on the field. A bit rough and ready. Um, let's go. Our glamorous model is McAllister today. We'll lunge him. He's been lunged a couple of times already this week because, as you all know, he has had a busy couple of weeks. He's been to Wales and West, jumping three days there. And actually, I didn't video last weekend. We went to Southview for two days and he jumped the British Novice and the Discovery. So I just thought he'd have an easier week this week. I've literally not sat on his back. We've just lunged. So, tangent. We'll groom him, get him ready. We have our bridle. I always just use a plain snaffle, ordinary nose band, no flash or nothing severe. It's really basic, basic bit of kit. Um, you can clean your bit. I haven't. In here, I have all my lungy bits. So I've got lunge lines, a training aid that I use today. I've got a roller, and there is a like the rope pulleys go with it somewhere. So that's more of a Pessoa system. But I think today I'll just use a lunge line and that training aid, which is what I use most of the time. <laughs> Dylan, what? What? Bridle is on. Let's do the training aid. I'll show you how that works. So it's a really, really basic bit of kit. It's just a webbing, yeah, like a braided sleeve with some rope in the middle of it. And then two little clips that hook onto the bit. One of mine broke and I've replaced it with a rug surcingle. It's all the same thing. It's just a bit of string with two clips. <coughs> Shush, that's honestly all you need. Baby Dill gets really excited when I'm lunging. I think he thinks it's a massive lead and it's something to be very excited. Look at, look at this. What is it? What is it? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I knotted mine because it just, I couldn't get it short enough. Um, I do, I clip these two rings together. It didn't come like that, but I just didn't like how it was like bashing, bashing the horses in the chest um, every time they moved their legs. Dylan, this isn't about you. So we clip it together just with a dog clip or any clip. I'm sure if you're an equestrian, you've got loads of clips from broken rugs and whatnot. So easily found. It just clips on to the bridle. Just a bit. So that's what it looks like. It shouldn't be, well, it should be tight enough that it's asking for their head to come down, but it should not be, there should be plenty of give in it, okay? Don't do it too tight. If you have one of these, it's much, much better. I don't know what this is called, and I'm not going to use it because it's broken. I need to get it repaired. Um, but what this does, you just clip it onto the bit, like either side of the bit and then your lunge line can attach to the middle so that you haven't got to bother looping the lead rope through like I do and I'll show you I'll show you if you have one of these gizmos you can attach it onto there attach it onto there and then you just clip your lunge line onto here like so, and then you haven't got to, you haven't got to swap anything over because it's all there. Does that make sense? But that will not stay on, it will just come off. And then I've only got that side. 
So we'll take that off. We will not use it. So what I do is I take my lunge line and I pass it through the inside ring and clip it onto the outside ring. I might show you actually how to lunge with two lines just in case you need to. Then we have our lunge whip and this is only to be used on the ground. You never ever, ever hit a horse with this. It's not, that's not what it's for. It's just a tool to help you control the horse. Lastly, I should probably mention, if you have a strong horse, wear gloves because the rope burn is not worth it. My horses are all pretty good to lunge, so I'm not gonna bother. Um, and I'm gonna use a second line. I don't normally anymore, but when I was first retraining both the racehorses, these were like invaluable. And if you've got a young horse that doesn't really know how to lunge that well, two lines are what you need. So I'll show you how to use it with two and then I'll just go back to my normal one line. I mean, my horses are all pretty good. They kind of just know their job and they just get on with it. But 12 months ago, I would not have said that, especially about this one. He could not do a circle. Come on then. <coughs> oh, you stop it. <coughs> This is my usual spot to lunge. It's like the flattest, yeah, the flattest part of this paddock. So that's it. Not very glamorous, but that's what we've got. We'll clip that one just onto that ring, that one onto that ring. Okay, do you see? Can you see? Can you see anything at all? really tricky to do with one hand. I'm holding the camera in the other. Um, so I've got my right rein controlling his right rein, my left rein, my left hand controlling the inside left rein. I don't think you can see anything. This gives you so much more control and if you've got a horse that doesn't turn very well it's best to start off like this. And now we're just down to one line, which is so much easier for me to show you. I've got my lunge line, lunge whip. This is going to be tricky to film, so bear with, bear with. I will get the hang of it. Um, one thing that you do need when you're lunging, quite important, is some sort of timer. I just use my iPhone. I normally do... 15 minutes one rain, 15 minutes the other. That's like average. Sometimes it'll be 20 minutes. Sometimes it's 10 minutes. It just depends where they're at with their fitness, how much time I've got, how much will to live I've got. There's lots of variables. So tonight I think we'll do 15 minutes either, either way. Let's go. Come on.
Whoa! Good boy. timer going again. I normally do a little bit longer on the right rein, only by a couple of minutes, just because uh, X race horses tend to prefer one rein. I'm sure most horses do actually, but even more so X race horses. So um, I just like to work the weaker one for a little bit longer. Self-explanatory really. This camera is going to have to move, unfortunately. I just wanted to say, your grip on the lunge line is just like you're holding the reins. You want a nice, soft, relaxed grip. I sort of squeeze my fingers a little bit, as I would on the reins. I'm always playing with the horse's mouth. Just getting them to soften and be a bit more supple. Um, so that's a, uh, a tip for you. Soft grip, relaxed elbows, relaxed hands. You know, we're not in a tug of war. It's a horse's mouth. They're very sensitive. I mean, you can see straight away he's not as comfortable on this rein. More at home on the left rein, that's for sure. Go on, good boy. Already I'm walking around quite a lot more. Whereas the goal is to stay still and let just him do the work. Story of my life. Go on. No, that's the wrong leg, honey. Whoa. <laughs> now obviously a menage would be better. This ground's a little bit slippy, a little bit hard. But we've got to work with it he does skid around the corners sometimes so if this gets too hard or too slippy um lunging's quite difficult because you can't turn them on a tight circle so um yeah if you're lunging on a field that's definitely something to know is you've got to be extra careful about the condition of the ground you'll figure it out i believe in you of course the upside of that is it does teach the horse to look after himself a bit better I mean, if your horse is used to going in a perfectly manicured arena every time, and then you take it to go cross country or something, it's not really gonna know what to do, but my lot are used to going on this. And <laughs> they think it's an absolute luxury um, just getting an irrigated, harrowed arena. Oh, come on. Atta! it. Whoa! Steady. Come here. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Are you tired? <laughs> the last mint. boy. That's it. I hope you found it somewhat useful. It was really difficult to film that so hopefully my footage is useful otherwise 
I don't know what I'm gonna do this week for a video. Um, sorry, I'm playing with his head. I look very angelic, don't I? I'm here, it's me, I'm real.